Hello, my name is uh, Linda Maguna. I am the acting director of Botswana National Archives and uh, Record Services. And uh, the Botswana National Archives and Record Services belongs to ASABICA, that is the Eastern and Southern Regional Branch of the International uh, Council on Archives. And uh, we are here as representatives from our respective uh, archives in the Southern region. Uh, we're glad to be here. It is an opportunity to learn from the experiences of others. It is also um, an opportunity to basically establish how others uh, overcame the challenges and obstacles that they faced in this profession. And, uh, you know, just an opportunity really to be able to meet other archivists and share and exchange ideas. Mm. So what are some of the factors you face, the challenges and, and factors that have been enabling you in your activities as a, an archivist and record manager? Um, I must say that um, in uh, Botswana um, we have quite, we've had quite a lot of support uh, from government in terms of um, building uh, capacity for the management of records. I'll give two examples, for instance, that uh, we've, uh, we have infrastructure that has been built in the country. We have uh, currently three record centers. One is expected to be officially opened towards the end uh, of the year. We also have the National Archival Repository, which of course was the first building in, uh, in the country that houses both uh, the archives and, and, and the records. So the, 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 the government has invested quite a lot in, uh, in, in developing infrastructure for the management and preservation of records. Uh, besides that, um, we have also influenced the offering of um, courses at the University of Botswana where uh, currently we have uh, students who are training at certificate, diploma levels, and also post-graduate uh, levels. So indeed, uh, the government has actually made a lot of strides in terms of uh, building the profession, ensuring that there is capacity for the management of records. I must also add that we have uh, legislation uh, dating as far back as um, 1978. Um, which basically was covering the archives first, but with time uh, we have also integrated the records management uh, aspect and um, it's, it's, it's enabled us as, as a country at least to establish a legal footing for the management of information and records. However, there still remains the challenge of um, having the different stakeholders or those who really should be concerned about the management of information and records actually owning it and taking it as seriously as you know we, we, we think they should. But I must say some steps have been taken in the sense that um, some we have decentralized the service of, of, of records management uh, in terms of the, the personnel. They've been decentra decentralized to the different uh, government departments and, 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 and ministries. And so, you know, the, the, the ministries and departments are expected to drive that agenda with coordination and policy development being done by, by the National Archives and, and Record Services. And so the different government departments are expected to basically uh, build capacity for, for the management of their records in terms of uh, ensuring that their officers actually go for training. And at the same time, with guidance from the National Archives, to ensure that they actually come up with uh, the proper frameworks to support uh, records management. For instance, the policies they need that support uh, record keeping in those particular contexts. Uh, some of them have done that. For instance, also driving the agenda of ensuring they create the right records and also accessibility by developing tools such as classification schemes. They have done that, but at the same time, we would like to see more of them actually uh, adopting these um, instruments and tools uh, to ensure that at the end of the day we have a standardized uh, way of managing records, there is predictability in, uh, in the system, and that of course at the end of the day ensures access to, to information. It also drives the agenda of uh, accountability, transparent uh, uh, governance, it also enables continuity, which are just some of the principles that our government has actually adopted in terms of management of. of in fact, it's, 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 it's encapsulated in, in, in our public service charter. And we see it as being very, very relevant to, to, to records management because it provides a support base um, for that. So coming to this conference has really been interesting. We are faced with issues of increasing access. We are constantly uh, being challenged to ensure that more people have access to our services. And it's no longer just about buildings 
it's also about um, basically making use of current technologies to ensure that we meet as we, 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 we provide the service to as many people as possible and not just the local people but also making these services um, accessible globally so we are here basically learning what it is that digitization can do for us how we can actually manage the preservation of such records how can we push and ensure that at the end of this day uh, at the end of the day these records you know are actually used by by members of the public how do we begin to describe them these are the issues that uh, we are here to, 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 to learn about. And um, besides that, uh, there seems even in terms of the principles and theory of um, uh, archives administration and records management, there are changes taking place. We need to keep in touch with these different changes. Um, there was a presentation on uh, archival standards. And it was interesting to note that for the different standards, uh, or should I say the descriptive models that uh, are available, there actually are certain questions that are being asked. There is need basically to ensure that you know, there is uniformity and these work uh, together to ensure that they benefit the archives and ultimately the public that actually uses um, these archives. So how do you find this particular Congress? Um, it has been uh, interesting because uh, there's a meeting point between the old and the new um, and there's a, there's a certain degree of flexibility in terms of accommodating um, new ideas and one of the most interesting uh, conversations has been about the WikiLeaks and uh, the whole issue of confidentiality and privacy versus the whole issue of uh, accessibility although I'm not going to take a position as yet because I'm still listening to the debates and uh, I, I, I think um, these are the issues that we are meant to be, to be, to be, to be talking about and saying whether indeed uh, as, 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 as information managers or whether indeed in, in this particular case the public should actually be accessing uh, everything uh, without consideration actually being put forward with respect to protecting certain uh, rights. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much, Madam, for your much. time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.